somebody was over there with the Trump sign, would they have to leave the property? Uh, wait, 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 with the sh shirt on the said Trump, if, and they were in that line, would they have to leave the property? Yes. Why? Because. Because of what you're wearing? Because they told me to say, anybody wearing Trump has to go right now. Oh, <laughs> oh that's good. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I have to call LPD now. That's fine. Thank there you. you go. That's all right. That's so perfect. Thank now. you for that clip. Oh, no. That was the scene uh, outside of a bookstore down in Florida where Ron DeSantis was signing books and had lines coming out the front. And a bunch of Trump supporters showed up there. Uh, the security guard for the store was sent out as you heard him tell them all, yo, they just told me you guys have to leave. And that was the money line, of course, that they uh, then pushed further. But that was the end of the conflict. Let's watch how they got to this point. This is how uh, much of this began. DeSantis people are in there saying, let me come out to tell you guys not to be here, why he's here. Right, signing I thought book. that Governor DeSantis was uh, like, he always talks about how he's in favor of free speech. Like we have a first amendment right to be here to rally and support of President Trump. Right, you do. Right, so, but not uh, now. so, that, so DeSantis's people told you that we have to leave? Yes. Okay, so DeSantis' people are anti-free speech. Okay, uh, now you sound like CNN. No, I'm, I'm definitely not sound CNN. Just well, like CNN. Well, CNN's an anti-Trump. CNN's anti-Trump. You didn't want to look. I do look. Like, I did, I did I look. look. Okay, I need you guys to leave, please. Okay? We don't want DeSantis to run for president. Okay, that's, that's fine. I, I don't want you to run either. And I'm I'm sure. I respect law enforcement. But I'm, but I, I'm asking you, I'm doing my job, okay? Okay, yeah, but yeah, I, if you're gonna just, film me, I'm gonna stand in front of. Okay, you. can I just? I want you to leave because I'm doing my job. Okay? And DeSantis is making us leave, right? Whatever. I just yeah. need you to yes. leave. Whatever, bro. And this kept going on and on. As you guys probably noticed, Laura Loomer there is uh, one of the organizers, I assume, of this whole rally of Trump supporters outside of DeSantis's book signing. And this security guard is just trying to beg with him. He's trying anything he can. The one thing he then brought up was, you guys sound just like CNN talking about how Ron DeSantis is against free speech. What do you mean by that? The conflict is brewing. They wasn't done. The security guard first called them CNN. Now he tries to up the ante. With more name calling that they just might be too bristled, uh, might, might make them bristle just enough that they will walk away. Watch more. Yes, DeSantis hates the First Amendment. Okay, you guys are just like CNN. DeSantis hates the First Amendment. The rest of we got it. DeSantis okay, hates the First yeah, Amendment. Yeah, we understand it's not you, well, yeah, but, it's not but they sent me out here to yeah. ask you yeah. to leave. You're and doing, I thought you, are you guys right. being Trump supporters that you would understand. Right. Yeah, but we understand, leave. We but no, you're acting like the far left. You guys are acting like the far left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to get Trump elected. That's the far left, right? They're acting like the far left, and for some reason, they still wouldn't leave. Yo, these types of conflicts are very, very juicy. This is where these things might be going. As they begin to decipher and determine, as they stand there in front of a DeSantis event and are being kicked away and said, yo, you can't be here, and then get called far left and CNN and MSNBC, they might start to understand these are the ways that they approach political opponents. Except when now they've become that political opponent, they're feeling that pressure. Laura Loomer saw the opportunity here since this was getting filmed and that security guard gave them that footage. She decided to tweet this out, this whole thing. But she also talked to the Daily Beast first, we'll get to her tweets. But she said also when she spoke to the Daily Beast, Loomer said that some of the people in the group had tickets to the event to meet the potential 24 candidate, but they were not let inside due to their pro Trump attire. It wasn't just them hanging out in the parking lot. Folks tried to get in and they were ticketed. The uh, police showed up and they told us that we were going to be cited and arrested for trespassing if we didn't leave because DeSantis didn't want us inside is what she said. And also it shows that he's a tyrant. Oh, They're figuring this out a little bit more though. Because when Trump was refused to leave that parking lot, a Leesburg police captain as that officer that, or that uh, security guy called, was called by that mall security to eject them from that property. He advised the Trump backers that they were on private property and would have to move to the sidewalk. Then the protesters grudgingly uh, obeyed those orders. Lastly, uh, last uh, point of, uh, of clarification here, Ron DeSantis is anti-free speech. It's one of the reasons why I don't support him and why I'll never support him. 
is what uh, uh, Loomer said as well. And if he's a Republican nominee, I simply won't vote. Pushing similar things that were said before. I mean, I think Trump even pointed out he cooled off much of the voting once uh, once he didn't like what it is that was going on with his own race. I'm not sure how many people are listening to Law Loomer to that degree, but still, uh, these whole things, uh, this whole thing has a fight written all over it, which actually makes me think of one thing. Watch. Big league. So good. I just thought you should know. Jeff, it's so good. It's so good. I just thought you should know. They fighting. Well, yeah, they are fighting, but who is absent from the fight? Seems to be DeSantis himself. He's not gonna throw any punches or any stones in this situation. He's gonna send out a security guard in order to do it. And by the way, by the way, before we continue, this whole you're acting like CNN thing. Mm-hmm. What? They're they're acting like themselves, like going up to something, acting like you want to fight, and then claiming claiming to be a victim when you know stuff gets a little interesting. They're they're acting like themselves and like just say that. You know how many times, by the way, as a content creator, when I talk about like systemic racism or something like that, somebody accuses me of watching CNN and get my information from CNN. Mm-hmm. Nobody, I, who who watches CNN? I know way more leftists who hate watch Fox than actually watch a CNN, but I digress. Yeah, DeSantis seems to be absent from this fight and he needs to jump in there real quick. I wonder what you think though, as far as these folks showing up with their Trump gear and their Trump signs. Is it one of those things? Of course they can, when it comes to private property, they can boot people and stuff. But since it's a political event and they show up with their political garb on, I, I mean, this is, uh, you know, not not for your potentially your legal opinion, but I'm curious what you think as far as if they're allowed to do something like this where they can then say, yo, I'm wearing a shirt, bro, I'm just showing up. I wonder to the degree to which they have a right to then still be there anyway. As much as I assume they're gonna be disruptive, holding signs and start chanting as this guy's trying to sign his bad book. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, so I'm just wondering if like the visible, like just people seeing Trump and his name and his campaign and his slogan, whatever, does the Santis believe that's going to sway any potential voters or any opinion about him? That's what I'm wondering. Like, why wasn't it okay for them to I can't believe I'm saying this. What in the world? <laughs> why, <laughs> why wasn't it okay for Trump supporters and MAGA to wear what they want to wear at his event? That's all I'm wondering, like fine if that's how you feel. But I'm wondering from him, again, if he's gonna jump in the fight or at least say how he feels and what he wants out of this. I wonder why they cannot wear their MAGA stuff, like what's in it for him? They wear it everywhere else. And as we've also seen, Ron DeSantis was uh, you know, an infant of the MAGA movement. And he's pointed that out in the back end of that ad that I decided to run there. So this whole conflict then went to the internet because Laura Loomer's like, I gotta promote this. This is what she tweeted out though. Uh, she says, this is a must watch, I'm at the Leesburg. Florida Mall outside of Books A Million for my pro Trump rally. And she had uh, some of those folks with her for Villagers for Trump, uh, that retirement community down in Florida that uh, he likes to tout as well. And uh, she pointed out that his staff ordered the police to make anyone wearing a a Trump shirt or anyone with a Trump gear to leave. So she's pointing this whole thing out. There is a media figure though, who's supportive of Ron DeSantis uh, and very openly. And he decided to respond and he responded quite wildly because now the fight is taken to Twitter. Uh, His name is Brendan Leslie and he, uh, he was responding to someone that was talking about his name calling that he's calling these folks for being out there trying to disrupt an event. And he goes, nope, calling people who are obsessed with harassing the governor whack jobs is what I'm doing. Don't really care if they're wearing an LGBT or Trump shirt. So he's just trying to kick everyone out that he sees from visually (laughs) or against him. He went on more because he wasn't done. Why in the world would the the DeSantis team permit Laura Looney Toon Loomer into his book signing just to disrupt it, be insufferable and ruin it for everyone else that's trying to have a good time? And when they're barred entry, they act like a bunch of entitled leftists. They're back on that name calling because somehow, I guess that showing up at events uh, where book signings are happening is just a leftist thing. It's not anything that righties show up to and start disrupting as well. Uh, one more part though, because he decided to make that comparison to quote lefties with this image. Oh and he says, breaking radical leftists have joined Laura Loomer's protest against Governor DeSantis at his book signing. Birds of a feather flock together. If you guys can't tell some of those signs those folks are holding reads, all of our kids deserve to be taught the truth. And the other says, teach honest history. I think you guys can determine that they're talking about school curriculum and how much of America's history when it comes to systemic racism isn't being taught in Florida uh, per Ron DeSantis. So 
they were in the same general area of that mall. So they uh, he decided to lump everyone together because that's a big insult. That's a big one. No, show them. These are the kind of fights they're going to have. And um, I'm not sure if I'm ready for them because it's going to be very, very annoying. Because by the way, Trump or DeSantis, I don't want to see either one of them, got to be honest. Yeah, but we're probably going to, 100%. depending on who the Dems put in. But yeah, again, hey, can we go back to those horrible nicknames? Like, do you have to use a nickname in these fights? Like, if you don't have a good one, just don't use them at all. That was horrible. <laughs> Well, no, that's the most. Looney Tune Loomer? Oh, I thought you were talking about the leftists and the CNN insults. Those ones. I thought that's what you mentioned. No, no. It's it's abundantly clear that they're not going to admit who they are when it comes to like lobbying and protesting or something like that. They're going to put it on the left, even though they're doing it. No. But I thought he called Loomer Looney Tune Loomer. Yeah, yeah, that's just bad. That's not Laura Looney Tunes Loomer. That's not good. Maybe it'll stick. Or Probably. I guess if Democrat uses it, it'll definitely be slander. 